Assassin's Creed Rebellion and as I'm kind of finished region 4 I am ready to share my experience about region 3 and region 4. Uh, why I decided to join these regions together because they are kind of the strategy for the regions 4 and the region 4 a uh, region 3 and region 4 are kind of very similar. So because the same characters, uh, maybe the same strategies, so they are very similar, so there is no sense to separate Region 3 separately from the Region 4. What's happened uh, to me, I started uh, Region 3, of course, from the Mission 12, and uh, it was on December 4, and I was at this time level 16. So I was level 16 when I start this region. It took me 10 days, so from December 4 to December 14, to finish region 3. I don't remember why, maybe it was really difficult uh, or maybe just slowly, but it's uh, according to my uh, videos, I finished mission 4, mission, mission 17 <coughs> on, December f uh, on December 14, and uh, by that time I was, uh, my level was 22. So basically, <coughs> to go through the re region 3, I used level 16 to 22, so I progressed this way. And later, the same December 14, I started with the mission 4, or with the region 4. And it took me 5 days to finish. I don't know why it's quicker, maybe because I was <coughs> like more focused or it just really uh, get the same strategy, so it's quicker. So it's uh, I finished the region for 5 days, not 10 days. And I progressed during this region, uh, during these missions, I progressed from the level, my level, Brotherhood level, from 22 to 25. By the end of the, uh, the story, I was 25. So that's that's how did I progress. So now, what's uh, uh, the next topic and your next question? Which characters did you use for the uh, for the region three and region four? It's actually very simple. There are only four characters you need to pass all the region. Aguilar, of course, he's a main story character. Aguilar, Beatrice. Louis and Gaspar. Basically, this one, two, three, four, they walk for all the missions in region three and region four. Sometimes, if uh, uh, some missions difficult to pass or you didn't level up some, some heroes, there is another combination. Uh, just for example, Beatrice plus Gaspar plus Claudia. If your Claudia at least uh, ha uh, has rank, uh, has rank three, three stars, so I strongly suggest you to uh, do the challenges and uh, upgrade Claudia because she's also a, a great healer. Not so great as, but she's a shadow, by the way. But uh, she's maybe good shadow. If you get Claudia at rank three, she will help during the region three. However. Uh, it's uh, very few help from her at the region 4, only as a healer. And the Gaspar, I think from the common characters, the Gaspar is the greatest character. And I wish I did start farming Gaspar from the day 1, but I didn't see it when I start the region 1. So basically I start to farm in Gaspar seriously, maybe... Oh, by the end of the region 2 or start of the region 3 or something, once I realized his extremely powerful features, like uh, he can boost the health of 50% and now he can restore like 20 plus 20, so 40% and the another 40% twice. So basically he can boost 50% and later heal for 80%. So it, it gives you your character, especially for the fighting characters, for the enforcers like Beatrice. It's like over the double of the health. And I'm ready to, uh, maybe by tomorrow, I, I will upgrade him, uh, promote him to the rank 5, and it will be just the craziest guy ever. So 
he's I, I call the Gaspar the hero of the region one because he is unlocked in the region one and uh, Beatrice I call the hero of the region two because she is unlocked in the region uh, region two uh, legacy mission ten and Louis of course it's uh, uh, the, the same uh, ne next legacy eleven so this is you must do from the region two and uh, this one two three four guys will do all the job during the missions of course there are varieties so if you uh, not seriously um, focused or forget to focus or overlook this on the beatrice so uh, there are the because mostly I also I also went with the Tariq first because the Tariq is the first enforcer uh, is like enforcer from uh, from the region one. However, once you get to the region two, you should maybe still continue with Tariq as a region two. But Tariq is not very good for the region three and four. So change him to the Beatrice is the best, or at least maybe you can uh, you can try Teresa. Where is my Teresa? Because somehow I didn't progress with Teresa, but uh, she's also good. However, uh, the however uh, the Beatrice is a queen of the fight and the queen of the region too. So that's all the four characters, and that's I show you how I farm in them. I wish. Okay, let's go from the farming sessions I'm farming still Gaspar as you see I'm farming Gaspar every day every day shouldn't skip even single day without farming Gaspar I wish I start to do it from the uh, like first day of my uh, first day of my uh, Assassin's Creed Rebellion because on the first day of Assassin's Creed Rebellion you will finish maybe one two stories and you will unlock this mission if if you watch this video and you are still beginning in the Assassin's Creed Rebellion, start farming Gaspar every day, three times, repeat this mission. So he is the king of the region one. So of course during the region one you still may be uh, farming Tariq uh, from this mission. Uh, let me go back. So from the region one, uh, Tariq Tariq will be good for the for the region two, and also um, maybe from the beginning Hamid will be uh, good uh, for the region two. However, also it was my mistake. I spent too much uh, for the Hamid uh, because basically by the once you unlock the mission eleven for the Lewis DNA, you should immediately switch to farm Lewis immediately so it will be also the good idea from the region uh, region one to farm Alonso I didn't see Alonso well so I didn't farm it uh, from the region one just let it uh, just like farm by itself but basically he would be a great ha help during the, the the region two and region three okay now region two so region two, the queen of region two is Beatrice. So start farming her in the once you complete the first or second mission of the region two, start farming Beatrice. This is must do. So for me, what I'm doing, region one mission, this legacy legacy four every day must do. Later, legacy ten every day must do. Later, legacy eleven for the Lewis every day must do. So this is because Beatrice is a queen for the region two and Louis I call is a prince for the region two. Okay. So why I talk about region one two? Because those characters are the key key heroes for region three and region four. Because once you start farming here, you come for the region three completely prepared. So and what will happen for the region three? You go with this uh, Aguilar, Luis, Beatrice, Gaspar. That's it. So you can farm optional characters from the region three. 
for example, optional are Maya or Yusuf as, as a navigator uh, to replace Alonso, if, y if you will farm in Alonso. Or you can go with Alonso until uh, region 4 and you will start to farm Yusuf. Basically, navigator is important uh, I in this game, however, is not critical. Important, but not critical. So I was farming Maya. However, uh, well, it's not, I, I didn't like really, uh, it was, she was not critically useful for me. Uh, from the region three, so from the region three, I only do one daily farm at the moment. Uh, this is this uh, Legacy 21 uh, for the Kazim DNA. So I farm in Kazim uh, every day. Uh, he's a good enforcer, can work together, especially together with Beatrice. Oh, th that's good. So as you see for the Region 3, I do only one farming mission. Okay, maybe I'm wrong, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't really matter. So, and Region 4. You go with the region 4, you still use the same key characters and you can pass through the whole region 4 with just uh, with Gaspar, uh, Aguilar, Luis and Beatrice. And that's it. Sometimes uh, Claudia can help as the second healer for the Beatrice. And what I do farming, farming from, the, from, this, uh, from this legacy mission at region 4, I do farming uh, for the Yusuf because Yusuf, uh, well, he's uh, f for the navigation skills and, and uh, he's a great fighter with the throwing knives and with this retaliate to reflect image, uh, to reflect incoming damage. So he is the, can say, ultimate navigating fighter, navigating fighter. So. Uh, he is good in navigating, but also can sustain some fights. So he will be useful. Of course, we don't know what what is in the region five. However, I suspect that the region five will make use of these characters because in the region five only you r there is no no commons here. You know, I in this in this legacy mission, no commons. There is. And even no, no rares, only epics and legendaries. So epics and legendaries. And uh, what I am farming, I am farming this mission, 25, for the Yusuf. I am farming this mission for, the, uh, for the both Flora and Rosa. Because Rosa, Rosa actually like the most, like can say, expensive hero. Because the, the last only legacy mission can farm her. But she is the extreme uh, like shadow plus uh, tra uh, trap disarmor so and uh, she's also a good fighter and uh, she can uh, in many cases uh, act as a uh, as a shadow and uh, uh, anyway re replacing Lewis in many missions so I do this every day so I do daily this 25 legacy 25 legacy 26 and uh, uh, of course, I want to get Luciano. So uh, I, I have Luciano, but I, I want to get him on the high level. So do these missions. So if I will have a chance. So now uh, for the last mission, like uh, Legacy 31, I think I will finish it for five stars and will have a better farming maybe since later today once i at level 27 i will craft uh, some more stronger gear and i will complete this i need rosa so i want to farm rosa so that will be my next preference and of course speculating of the region 5 because it's still locked but what i think about the region 5 firstly i think the region 5 those uh, rares and legendaries may start to work. Region 5 is now, uh, as you see, it's show locked, Region 5. So also, I think that by Region 5, they will change the main character. Before, our main character, story character, was Aguilar. So we were able to uh, level up, rank up Aguilar. And by the, by the finishing the, uh, this Region 4, Aguilar getting 5 stars, rank 5. 
My guess is a speculating only that the next hero, story hero for the region 5 will be who? I think it will be Maria. Why? Because uh, we are ranking Maria for some reason and once the region 4 will be complete, so I only need two stars, two stars, uh, I will complete one mission, I think, I hope today I will do it, I get two stars and I will progress Maria to the rank 3. And Maria is a very good assassin, uh, actually he's, he's, he's more superior than uh, Aguilar, but y you understand Aguilar is a rare, but Maria is legend. Uh, she's legendary, and uh, she's uh, like assassin rank three, and shadow rank three. So she's much more powerful than like Aguilar or Maxim or Ma Maximo or all of them together. So I my guess is, as story allow us to do progress with Maria to the rank 3, 3 stars. So region 5 will upgrade her to the rank 4 and region 6 maybe will give her 5 stars. It's just my logic. It's my logic because Mar Maria is present in the game. Maria is present in the game uh, by in, in these rewards. So and uh, of course the region region 5 Mu should be much more difficult the region 4 right so and legendaries will start to work in the region 5 and my speculation that maria is the next story character so i hope i share my vision uh, with you uh, have some comments and questions always welcome because i learn from you you teach me a lot have a nice game. See you in region 5. I hope it will be released like in one, two weeks. I don't think more than two weeks. Or otherwise it will be the mistake. One, two weeks and we will get region 5. Let's see if the Maria will be the next story character. So, okay, give me an extra like. Thank you and have a nice game.